Uh, Professor Tribe, it's so fascinating to see that video of just three weeks ago uh, when there was an awful lot of impatience out there still, uh, including here, shared by both of us publicly, about what is the Justice Department doing uh, in terms of investigating Donald Trump. Well, tonight, we know a lot more. We do, and we have reason to be confident that the Attorney General is proceeding, as he always does, methodically, with great precision, without fear or favor, and he is restoring faith, I think, in the rule of law. Of course, Donald Trump calls himself a victim. He says this was a witch hunt. Uh, but the law says that he has to be given an inventory of the material that was taken from him, even though it's an inventory that might contain some redactions because we have every reason to think that some of the material might be so secret and so classified that it can't be discussed publicly. But he has that inventory, so he should put up or shut up. If he thinks this was an unjustified raid, he has the means of saying, there's no evidence of any guilt here, take a look. He doesn't have the affidavit, but just as John Eastman brought a lawsuit to challenge the search that was undertaken in his case, uh, Donald Trump is no shy you know, character when it comes to litigation. He could bring a lawsuit. So it's, you know, a tempest in a teapot. He has no basis for complaint. He's being treated the way any other citizen would be. And that's par for the course for Merrick Garland. You uh, brought to my attention today uh, U.S. Code Title 18, a, a statute that you think might be applicable to what this search warrant was about. Uh, it says uh, whoever having unauthorized possession of access to or control over any document relating to the national defense, which uh, the possessor has reason to believe could be used to the injury of the United States or to the advantage of any foreign nation, uh, willfully communicates the same or willfully retains the same and fails to deliver it to the officer or employee of the United States entitled to receive it, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. Uh, so this is a very serious statute saying that if he is just in possession of uh, an important national defense document uh, that could be used uh, to in any way hurt the United States if obtained by someone else, if he's just in possession of that, that's a crime. That's right. And he's been asked to turn it over to the National Archives. He's holding on to it. He's holding on to it, apparently, without adequate security. That's what the FBI seems to think. And the FBI is, after all, headed by Chris Ray, who is somebody who is by no means a partisan on behalf of Democrats. He was appointed by Donald Trump. This stuff just rattling around in Mar-a-Lago could be very dangerous. Chinese spies have been found there. Uh, lots of very sensitive technical information is there. Donald Trump wouldn't know it if he saw it, but he knows he has an obligation to turn it over. And I very much agree with Andrew Weissman that the government's insistence on grabbing all of this information could have been designed principally to, as Andrew put it, repatriate it, which is a fancy word of saying, get it back where it's safe instead of where it is roaming around, can be used by Donald Trump to get leverage, to possibly dangle in front of people. Uh, it's unsafe there, and our national security is in danger. That doesn't mean that what they discovered in the course of this search and seizure is not going to be useful for proving all kinds of crimes, including seditious conspiracy, fomenting an insurrection, defrauding the United States, obstructing a proceeding in Congress, whatever evidence they find in plain sight, as long as they are executing the warrant and not looking in his safe for an elephant, 
looking places, you know, where something couldn't be found. Anything they find can be used uh, to prosecute him for whatever crimes are involved. But this particular search might simply have been designed to protect the United States of America.